The American Heart Association is the nation's leader in life-saving CPR training. In fact, we write the CPR guidelines for everyone, the public, doctors, nurses, and paramedics. This year, we've made a few changes so that it's much easier for anyone to save a life using CPR. Let's take a quick review of the new CPR process and when to use it. When someone's heart stops beating, it's called cardiac arrest. CPR is needed right away when this happens. Cardiac arrest victims will die if they don't get help fast. When cardiac arrest strikes, the victim typically collapses, stops breathing, or stops breathing normally and can't respond. Sir. Sir. If the victim does not respond, and the victim is not breathing or not breathing normally, yell for someone to call 911 okay. and have them get an AED. An AED is a portable electronic device that helps the heart return to its normal rhythm. If you're alone, call 911 and get the AED yourself. Then follow the AED's voice prompts. If no AED is available, immediately start CPR, beginning with compressions. Doing CPR is not hard. Anyone can do it. And now the American Heart Association is making CPR easier than ever. We used to tell people that the proper steps for CPR are airway, breathing, compressions, or ABC. But we've changed that order, so the compressions come first. It's now compressions, airway, breathing, or CAB. This new order makes it easier because anybody can start out with compressions, even with no CPR training. Just push hard and fast on the center of the chest. If you haven't been trained, keep pushing until help arrives. When you give compressions, make sure you push the chest down at least two inches and allow a little time for the chest to come back up. Push as hard and fast as you can. The perfect rate for compressions is at least 100 per minute. That's the same speed as the beat of the song Staying Alive, so try to keep that tune in your head if it helps. If you've been trained in CPR, push on the chest 30 times, then open the airway by tilting the head back and lifting the chin. This helps air reach the lungs. Next, give two mouth-to-mouth -mouth breaths over one second for each breath and watch for the chest to rise. Continue the CAV cycle until help or an AED arrives. Use the same CAV cycle for adults, children, and infants. This is just a quick overview. So, to learn more or to sign up for CPR training that can help you save someone's life, visit our website at www.heart.org/cpr.